If you're struggling right now staying sober, if you've fallen off the wagon, you've relapsed, um, you can't get the treatment that you want right now because of everything going on, this is what I wanna say to you. Um, I am a little over a year sober. Um, I'm very, very blessed by the grace of God that I've kind of hit that milestone for me in my life and I continue to live each day, one day at a time. So um, in my past, in my past, in the past year, my recovery, I literally self-quarantined myself. Like I made sure I did not go to the same bars that I was going to. I didn't go to bars at all, actually. I wasn't hanging out with the people that I was hanging out with. I literally cut myself off from everybody. Um, and I, but I also had a community, right? I went to my AA meetings. I was able to see my sponsor. I was in IOP. I was an intensive outpatient. I had a group. I had a community of people that I can go to. So I wasn't, I was alone, but I wasn't alone because I still had places that I could go to that I could, um, reach out to. So if you are struggling with addiction right now, if you are struggling with alcoholism right now, uh, I just want you to say, hold on, like hang in there. Um, th that's really all I can say right now is that like, Play the tape out, okay? Let's play it out. My drug of choice was cocaine, right? I love a nice big box of gas station wine, some Pinot Grigio, some shitty ass shit from the gas station, get a gram of cocaine, a few Xanaxes, I'm good to go. Let's play the tape out, right? Let's say I'm bored, I'm depressed, very natural. I'm isolated because I'm here. I can't go see my family, I can't go see my friends, I can't do this, I can't do that. I'm home by myself, okay? And um, I decide to go get a bottle of wine, right? Let's just play the tape out. This is what I do. And I want you to do this right now. If you are even considering, if you even have the thought in your head about going back to your drug of choice, about taking that pill, about drinking that drink, let's play the freaking tape out because we all know how it's going to go. Let's do it. All right. I want to drink. I don't like this feeling. I feel bored. I feel isolated. I feel useless. I'm not making money. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm single. Whatever the thought is in your head, right? I'm just saying whatever might be going on in your head right now and in a lot of people's heads right now, you got to have a thought in your head. You don't like the thought in your head. It's producing a feeling in your body. You don't like the feeling in your body. Then what do you do? Like, you know what? I'm going to go get a six pack of beer. You know what? I'm going to get some shitty ass, cheap ass wine from the gas station down the street. Fine. You do it. You basically block out everything in your head and you're like, I need to feel better. I need to numb myself. I don't like this feeling. So I need to go numb it out. Right? Then you get your bottle of wine. Then you get your DOC. You get, you get your drug of choice. You, you get the thing that you think is going to fix you, which is not going to fix you at all. It is not going to make you feel better at all because... If we're anything alike, even in our addiction, while we were getting fucked up, while we were getting drunk, we knew we shouldn't be doing it. We knew that it wasn't helping us, but we didn't have any other way. So if you have been sober for a while, or if you're trying to get sober at least, and you even have a few days under your belt, or maybe you're just even trying to cut down right now, and at least you're aware of that, let's play the tape out. Let's play the tape out. So fine, I'm here I am. I got my drugs in front of me. I got my glass of wine in front of me. I got my beer in front of me. I got my pills in front of me. Whatever it is, right? You start that line of cocaine. You take that chug of beer. You sip that wine oh so elegantly. No. You pop that pill. Instant relief, right? No. Because as soon as you do that, as soon as you feel instant relief, it is going to be followed by instant regret, instant shame, instant guilt. And you know what that's going to lead to? More snorting, more drinking, more popping pills. And there you're back at it again, back to square one. You're back to square one. So if you're even thinking about it, I want you to play the tape out. Stop for a second, play the tape out. Okay, you go get that beer, you go get that wine, you go get that cocaine, you go get that drink, you, 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 that, those pills, whatever, you bring it home. You buy yourself or with a friend or whoever you live with. You get fucked up. You keep getting fucked up. Then the next day you wake up, you feel like shit. 
and you're gonna do it all over again. If you actually think that you're just gonna do it one time and that's not gonna have any effect on your mental and emotional and spiritual health, you're kidding yourself. You are kidding yourself if you think you're just gonna do it one time. There's no such thing. If you have already been to treatment, if you've already been sober for a little bit, if you know yourself even a percent, then you know that there's no such thing. It's just one time. Now, if you're like, boss, I can like have a drink. Like I can just have a drink. Then I'm not talking to you then. I'm not talking to you. If you're the kind of person that you believe you can just have one drink and be done with it. Great. I'm not talking to you. I am talking to the person. I am talking to the person who knows how this is going to go. You know that you're going to have that one sip. And the minute you have that one sip or the minute you take that line of cocaine or that pill, you know your brain's going to be like, oh, that feels so good. And then you're going to want more. And then you're going to want more. And then you're going to want more. And then when is it going to end? A pandemic is not a reason for you to relapse. A debt is not a good enough reason for you to relapse because what is the point of you being chaotic when everything else around you is hitting the fan too? What is the point? How does that benefit you in any sort of way? I know right now you may not have access to meetings. Some of your other sober buddies may be off the wagon, you know, falling off the wagon right now and you're like, what the hell? What's the point? I'll tell you what the point is. Play the tape out. The point of staying sober is so you can be clear, you can be grounded, you can hear yourself think, you, bec you become stronger. Don't be another statistic. Just because alcohol sales have gone up, just because there are people who don't have the tools and the support necessary, you don't have to be like that. You can be different. You can admit that this sucks. No one's saying that this doesn't suck. It sucks sometimes, doesn't it? But anytime I even have a thought, like a thought of it, like, man, I'll admit something to you. The other day, it was like beautiful here in Austin, Texas. It's beautiful today, but it was like a few days ago. It was beautiful. You know what's really messed up? The thought that I had in my head, man, a nice chill glass of rosé sitting on a patio with a gram of cocaine to go into the bathroom would be great. I would love a glass of rosé and just a little bit of cocaine. But I was like, there's no such thing as a little bit of cocaine with me. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as just a glass of rosé. I'm not an a glass of rosé kind of girl. I'm like, give me a bottle. Let me get another bottle and then another bottle. Let me get three grams of cocaine. And by the way, don't forget my two Xanax so I pass out at night. No. So even after a year and a month now, I still feel that way sometimes. But I remind myself it's not going to end up good. I have worked too hard. Life is too good. And even though... I still have my shitty days. I still feel down. I still feel downtrodden and I feel like blah, blah, blah. I know that it's not going to help. So if you need help, message me. I will talk you off the ledge. Play the tape out. It is not worth it. This too shall pass.